Hello everyone, I'm Emre Aksan. I'm going to talk about our work on compositional stroke embeddings. Stroke-based data can be found in various domains, such as handwritten text, sketches, or hand-drawn flowcharts. And the generative modeling of such data is mainly interested in where and what to draw next. In handwriting, localization of the next stroke is rather easy and is often determined by the previous stroke. While in sketches, the next stroke depends on the semantic category and the order of strokes is determined by the user. For a diagram sample, on the other hand, the next stroke is not tied to a global semantics, and the starting position is an important degree of freedom. The existing works, such as SketchRNN, are not able to cope with the increasing complexity as the data is simply treated as a sequence of points. Instead, we consider the compositional structure of the data and model diagram samples as collections of strokes. Our approach consists of three main components. For a given partial drawing, we want to predict where and what to draw next. We start decomposing the given sample into individual strokes by ignoring the start position. All the strokes are treated independently at this stage. The variable length strokes are then projected onto a fixed dimensional embedding space. Here we want to capture only the local information about the strokes, such as the size, shape, or the curvature. In order to capture the global semantics, we use a relational model. Our relational model takes the stroke embeddings and their starting positions and learns the global layout and the dependencies between the strokes. Our relational model makes a prediction for the embedding of the next stroke and its corresponding starting position on the canvas, which are then passed to a decoder to render the variable length stroke S4 in our toy example. The representations learned by the encoder must be informative for both the reconstruction of the strokes and the predictions of the future strokes. At inference time, our model is able to operate in the embedding space autoregressively, and hence the encoder is only required for the encoding of the user inputs. Our main contribution is learning how to compose strokes in an abstract representation space, which is achieved by the factorization of the task into the prediction of the stroke starting position, and given that, the prediction of the stroke's embedding. This factorization allows our model to focus on local context and work more effectively, especially when the number of strokes increases. Our design also allows us to build an interactive tool where the user and our model can cooperate. Thank you for your time.